CBS 11 discovered a problem that we first revealed earlier this week actually goes much deeper. Whether you're getting married, just had a baby, or want a passport, you need a birth certificate. Jason Allen is live in Fort Worth. And Jason, this is connected to issues that you uncovered this week for death certificates. Uh, right, Gilma, and much of this goes back to this new computer system for vital records that the state launched back on January 1st. 11 days later, though, uh, we found out that there are still some employees in county offices having problems logging in, or they can't get records back from the state, or they can't print out birth certificates for people who need to get them. You'll need it to get a passport to fly out of the country or to make sure your child ends up in the right age group on the field. But city and county clerks across Texas are running into problems providing copies of birth certificates. It comes after the launch of the state's new Tex Ever system to keep track of vital records. CBS 11 reported Tuesday how funeral directors and doctors said it was delaying death certificates. Now, clerk offices from Collin County to College Station have posted they aren't providing birth certificates for anyone not born locally. Some pointed to technical issues with the new system. Others had not paid to access a remote system to get a hold of birth certificates from out of the area. Still others didn't have the proper secure paper to print them on. The Department of State Health Services told us Friday some users need to correct their account or email information for access, that they're working with local offices to correct training related issues, and for passports, because of an inconsistent printing problem, residents should request a long form birth certificate through the state. Sources said some problems were being fixed each day, but it could take weeks for the process to run smoothly again. And that timeline is significant for people like clerks and medical examiners. They have deadlines that are set in state code for how soon they have to file paperwork like a death certificate. Now, the state told me tonight that they have reached out and talked to agencies like the Texas Medical Board, informed them of all the changes that are going on, and that it might affect timeliness in some of these circumstances. We're live in Fort Worth tonight. Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.